Hey guys, Patrick and Justin here with the brand new 2023 Skeeter ZXR 19. Tell me on this boat. First thing I see right off the bat is the quality that Skeeter is known for. Fit and finish, beautiful. The the seat, the upholstery is nice. Uh, padded front deck, I love it. Um, as I get older, I really appreciate the padded front deck. A lot of people think it's just yeah. a sales point. Yeah. It's not, it really makes a difference. Um, and to find that in a 19 foot boat is rare. The biggest thing that stood out about this boat to me though was how this boat handles how this boat rides you point this boat and it goes where you point it it's a it's a really good experience for a driver of a boat to, to get in this boat just really no complaints about the way this boat rides or drives um again the ride quality of this boat is that of the zxr20 yeah this is a brand new hull for 2023 but it's the baby brother to the zxr20 so all those great characteristics that we have in the zxr20 have been passed down to the 19. if you look at the bottom of this boat next to a 20 it's not that much different yep. so the ride quality, the handling characteristics, all the good stuff we have in the ZXR20 are in this boat. What we've changed is our front deck got a little bit smaller, yeah. our console cockpit, our cockpit got just a little bit smaller, and the back deck shrank a lot more than what, what the rest but of the boat But that front was. deck really didn't lose much. We lost two and a quarter inches off the front yeah. deck. Um, Still giving you ample room for two fishermen. It's huge. You know, when I, when I saw the skier coming out with this boat, the first thing I thought was high school tournament. Yeah. The dad's got plenty of room to be back here all day. He can sit on the back deck. He can relax, eat his crackers, do his thing. And the kids have plenty of room up on the front deck to right. fish two people. I would feel comfortable fishing three people off the front of the boat. So the things that I would keep in mind when I'm looking in the 19 foot class or when I'm looking at a boat in general, you know, something that everybody never thinks about is I get home with my brand new boat. I go to back at my garage and guess what? It doesn't fit. I can't shut my garage door. So then your wife's mad that you take the saws on and cut a slot in the garage door for the tongue. You know, we got to do what we got to do. So this boat is 19 foot, 10 inches long. It will store in the same space as most 18 and a half to 19 foot boats. Um, but you're getting a 20 foot boat. You're getting a 20 foot boat ride quality, space, yeah. compartment storage. You're getting everything that you get out of a 20 foot boat put in a 19. Yeah. So. Um, some of the things to look out for, something to keep in mind, if you're wanting to upgrade, put a lot of upgrades on a boat, the boat does not come with power poles okay. or raptors, um, does not come with a hydraulic plate, and does not come with an Ultrex. The Fortrex is standard on this boat. Still comes with some great graphs. You, you're getting a Helix 12 and a Helix 9. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that combination. That combination's worked good for years. But the, the options to upgrade are endless on this boat. So if you want to get into this boat now and upgrade as you go, you can add the Raptors. You can add two units of console. You can add a second unit of the bow. Because this boat is built off the ZXR platform, just glancing at this boat, all of your aftermarket dash plates are going to fit this boat. Yeah. All of your aftermarket bow plates are going to fit this boat. So you can really you know, outfit this boat however you feel like you need to. All right, on the back of the 2023 ZXR19, you are going to find the dependability you've come to love. The Yamaha VMAX SHO. This is the new Callan. Everybody's come to love since it came out. It's a 225 mounted to a 12 inch uh, slide master jack plate. Emergency ladder is standard on the back of this boat. Um, hydraulic steering, standard on the back of this boat. Some of the other stuff that you may not really look that far into is the boat has already come with the big clamshell so that you can run your Raptor hoses, your power pole hoses, um, extra transducers, any of that stuff you want to run, it's already got the places for it to run it. Um, again, on the back of the ZXR19, you're gonna have the same sponsons 
that are on every Skeeter boat that really help that backwash, the whole shot, getting up on plane, and have just become part of the Skeeter style and something that you've come to love and something that everybody recognizes a Skeeter for. So in the battery compartment, again, this is the baby brother, the ZXR20. The battery compartment is exactly the same. So 36 volt trolley motor system, standard. Minn Kota 460 PCL. That PCL is set up to charge lithium. So a year down the road, two years down the road, you decide that you want to put lithiums in this boat, it's ready for you. Um, 12 volt cranking battery, 36 volts worth of trolling battery. You've got breakers to kill everything. Something that I love about Skeeta that not a whole lot of people think about is the quick pit disconnect level hoses. Um, you fish around here like we fish in Alabama, you get a lot of dirt, you get a lot of crawfish, you get a lot of shad in your live well. And at some point they're gonna get stopped up. How do we clean those out? Well, I don't wanna be laying in the back of my boat at midnight with hose, with a trying to get a hose clamp off. Let's just pop a clip, blow the hose out and keep fishing. Um, so there's a lot of room in the back of this boat to add stuff if you ever want to. You've got plenty of room for your Raptor pumps. You've got plenty of room for your power pole pumps. Anything you need to add, this boat has the room to add it. So on the back deck, of course, we've got to have a live well. The same live well that is in the ZXR20, the ZXR21, is in the ZXR19. Um, oxygenators are standard, lights are standard in your live well. Um, research, pump out, everything's here. Everything you need in tournament rig is here in this live well. Um, I would have no problem if I could catch it putting 30 pounds in this live well and feel completely confident this live well is going to keep it alive. Moving outside of the live wells, on either side of the live wells, you are going to have two big dry boxes. Again, these are lighted compartments. They are dry storage, um, and they are also ventilated with the dry dock system that Skeeter has put in all their boats. So some of the standard features here at the cockpit, you're gonna have a full gauge pack, trim gauge tack, fuel gauge, um, water pressure, battery voltage, all standard on the boat. Your switches, you've got a full switch pack. Back here behind your right elbow when you're sitting in the seat, you're gonna have ox the oxygenators and the dry dock system. Just to the right of the, con the seat, you are gonna have your flow right remote drain plug as well as your live well plug. So you can open, close, open your plug, close your plug, open your live well, close your live well, all from the driver's seat. So let's just be honest, at some point, you're gonna forget your boat plug. Instead of having to go swimming or pull my boat back out, all I have to do now is reach down to my right side and put my boat plug in. Just to the left of the driver's seat, we have a cooler. Become pretty standard across the Skeeter lineup to have this cooler set up with the padded lid for a third seat. It is super comfortable. It's a very durable step. I've come to love it. Um, hadn't had any complaints on it at all. And it really does a good job at holding ice. All right. So here at the console, what a lot of people are consider their office. We have Helix 12 as standard, side imaging, down imaging, 2D, GPS, everything you need to be dangerous is on this Helix 12. To the left of the steering wheel, you've got trim on the wheel so you don't take your hand off and hit the shifter. Hot foot is standard in this boat. All of your breakers, your whole breaker panel is located right underneath the console. So if something's going wrong, you have easy access to your breaker panel located right underneath the console. One more thing while we're here at the console, the way that Bucks Island orders their boats from Skeeter is with an Ultrax. And when you order that Ultrax, you're gonna get a 540 Ethernet hub under the console so that you have that iPod link capability here at your console graph as well as at the bow graph. If you buy a boat off the showroom floor that was not ordered with an Ultrax, it's not gonna have that five port hub, you would have to option that five port hub in at your dealer. So as we move up to the front deck, I would like for y'all to see what this boat, what the front deck of this boat really has to offer. And by doing that, we're gonna show it to you while we're on the water. Um, here, on the, here in the showroom, you don't get a real feel for it. On the water, here's what it looks like, here's how big it is, and here's how stable this boat is. One thing that really impresses me about this boat is for a 19 foot boat, look at this front deck. I mean, I'm 6'5", 240 pounds, standing off the side of this boat. And we're not listening, we're not leaning, I'm not about to fall in. Guys, this boat is massive for a 19 foot boat. Skeeter took the ZXR20 and shrank the front deck down two and a quarter inches. We've only lost two and a quarter inches front to back on this 19 foot boat front deck. I mean, this thing is massive. We could fish three people up here and never be never be in each other's way. As I walk around, you can see this boat's not moving a whole lot, no more than any other 19-foot boat. One thing that I can notice right off the bat with the CXR19 is how solid this front deck is. I mean, again, 240 pounds. I'm jumping up and down on this front deck. There's no flex. There's no squeaks. There's no creaks. There's nothing. And the reason for that is Skeeter has gone back to a 100% fiberglass front deck. So we don't have carpet rubbing on aluminum. We don't have aluminum on aluminum. We have a 100% fiberglass front deck, just like bass boats have always been built. 
and this is why, is because they're quiet, they're smooth, and they're solid. As I mentioned out on the water, this boat has a fiberglass front deck, which is something that's a little bit different for Skeeter to do. It really works well on this platform. So as you can see, we have the big raised lip, just like we do with the aluminum lid, aluminum front decks, where you're not gonna get that water leaking into your compartments. We still have all the Plano boxes in our center compartment. We have a tackle organizer. We have the mega rod tubes in here as well to hold more rods in your center compartment. Still have aluminum lids, gas shocks, stainless latches, rod boxes on either side of the front deck, day box here as well. Here at the front of the ZXR19, you're gonna have pretty much all the same features you have on the ZXR20 and 21. Recess trolling motor pedal, dash mounted Helix 9, all on a custom gimbal mount so that you can really change this up as you please. Big piece of non-skid here for when you're stepping off the trailer and into the boat or off the boat and back on the dock. Really a big wide platform up here at the front of the boat, especially for a 19 foot boat. There's plenty of room to get up here on the front, fish side by side, two people off the very front of the boat. Really, I mean, I, I, you can't ask for more than a 19 foot boat than what this boat's giving you right now. The last thing I would like to touch on in this walkthrough video is the trailer. A few years ago, Skeeter started manufacturing their own trailers and it has been a huge success. What you see here is a purpose-built trailer for this boat. They didn't just take a trailer off the line, move some bunks around and make it work for this boat. They built this trailer for this boat. So you've got oversized steps, tandem axle trailer, the Dexter hubs, which are phenomenal, spare tire carrier mounted up on the front, big easy step platforms on the front, and a set of stairs to get up in the boat. I have been pulling a, a Skeeter trailer over the country for the past two years and I have had zero failures out of my trailer. So if you purchase a ZXR19 and it doesn't necessarily come with everything you want on it, the folks here at Bucks Island can rig this boat however you feel it needs to be rigged. Whatever options you want to add, whatever graphs you want to add, anchors you want to add, anything like that, the rigging department here at Bucks Island will take care of you. The sales department's phenomenal, the parts department's phenomenal, the rigging department's phenomenal, and the service side of things, hands down, second to none. Justin, thank you for coming and to the shop again and going over this boat with everybody. I greatly appreciate that. And guys, if you're interested in finding out uh, pricing information, you can go to skeeterboats.com and look at the nationally advertised price that they have there for you. You can reach us at bucksisland.com and all the contact information for Bucks Island is in the uh, description below.